Alright, today's workout is going to target your deltoids and a little bit of your traps. And we're going to work out to the song called Flower by Moby. You might have, some people call it Bring Sally Up, Bring Sally Down. But we're going to do three different workouts and go through the song three times. The song's about three minutes, 20 seconds long. So use lightweight because you pretty much just with your arms you're going to be tired. So the first workout, oh, the first workout we're going to do will be lateral raises, but the start position is going to be up like this. And every time you hear bring Sally up, you're going to be in down right here start position. You're going to, when it says bring Sally up, you'll go up, bring Sally down, you go down. Your arms will stay parallel to the ground. You can try them either way, probably this way or that way. You can clank this way or you can clank up that way. Have a little bit of bend in your leg as you go and bring it up so it'll be They'll say, bring Sally, start like this, bring Sally up, bring Sally down, okay? So, we're about to start the demonstration. Remember, the song is three minutes and 27 seconds long, so here we go. Okay. Little bend in the knees. Don't bring your arms too far forward, keep them straight. See, you can already start to feel it burn. I chose five pound weights, which I may find is too much. Oh, still down. Whoops, that's what caught me. Burning? Why did you give up already? It's already burning. Hope I don't need the Okay, we just did the first exercise. Now we're going to do the second exercise to bring Sally up. I'm going to stick with the five pounds again. And this time, we went to the side. This time we're going straight forward. So, make sure you don't hit the light. That's pretty good right there. This will be your start position. Let's say bring Sally down. You'll bring them straight in front of you. I like to have a little bit of, tiny bit of bend in the elbow, a little bit of bend in the knees. Bring Sally up, we'll be like this. Bring Sally down, a little bend in the knees. All right, here we go, we'll start to use it. Here it goes. Oh, start. Wait, did it start? Are you not? I need to turn it up. Oh, here we go. Okay. Try to keep your arms parallel as you bring it down. A little bend. A little bend gives it a beat, helps it. Look at Abby go. See Abby? She's showing you how it is. Are your arms tired? Try to keep your back straight. You're kind of pushing your arms up. There you go. Keep it down. This is the long part. Down. Don't let it hurt. Okay. Now the third workout, we'll do the same song again for the same amount of time. And uh, this time you are going to do push press, but you can uh, you can uh, kind of go into thrusters once you get, start to get tired because after a bit, once you bring it down, it may be hard. If you need to bend at the knees and thrust it up, that'll be fine. So I'm going to go with 35s for this, and what will happen is it'll be like this, and then bring Sally up, and then when they say bring Sally down, you bring it down right here. Try not to bring it too low, bring it down right here, and then thrust up, okay? All right, here we go. Abby's already doing it. No, that should be good, just try that, that should be good. Yeah, ready, here we go.
Okay, now the, the last part of the workout, now that your arms and shoulders are like pretty much beat, you can barely lift them, we were gonna do a five minute round of punching the tie pads, also with some kicks. If you're doing this at home, you may not have the boxing gloves and tie pads, so we'll be missing out. But if you're coming here for the workout, then you'll be able to uh, put on the gloves and hit the tie pads with this.